Hello, it's、uh, Vinny here. Today, I'm not going to talk about STI, and I'm going to change topic, and I'm going I'm going to talk about HSI, Hang Seng Index. HSI is also an index that、uh, I'm trading, so、um, you know it's very exciting.、Uh, so we're going to take a look at HSI, and、uh, today, what will I be sharing? Not one stock, but one technique. All、right, one technique on how to draw equidistance channel. All、right,、uh, so this is one technique、uh, that I always use, which is equidistance channel. All right, so let's、uh, take a look into the weekly chart. All、right, uh, as usual, you can see that my prices I've boxed it up. Okay, so this is the concept of auto box,、uh, which is very very useful to look at very strong price level and big move. Okay, so this is the core that I'm actually using, which is auto box. All right. Okay, so the technique of drawing equidistance channel is to look at confirmed turning points. So which are confirmed turning points, right? We can switch that into a line chart、uh, to look at confirmed turning points. And of course, that、um, you know points which are too far away or which have been used already or which are not too important to the current structure, we can't use that. Okay, so let's take a look at the broad picture here. I need you to focus just into this part, which is actually this portion. All right, and、uh, you know the the we always draw lines which are relevant to us, which you know help us to an answer some questions. So, for example, now this particular place here, at this place here, right?、Uh, what are we trying to answer? We are trying to answer whether price is near to a support, whether there is a There's a support available. So, for example, by looking to the left, you realize that okay, yes, there was some form of a low here. That's a historical low back in two zero one five, and it's not surprising to find another one more low here. All right. So we want to have as many supporting evidence to help us to see whether this particular low is something that we want to consider as a place to buy. Because you want to be looking at the buy at the low side. Or you know you are expecting that perhaps right at this point around here HSI is going to reverse、uh, its downward movement to to move up. Okay, so how to draw equidistance channel? So first, let's talk about what is equidistance channel. Equidistance channel would be instead of drawing, for example, trend line. Okay, you will draw a line that's parallel to the first line. So this will be the first line. So this will be the second line, and the two lines they will form equidistance channel. Right. So same thing. Let's say I have a down sloping line. So instead of drawing just one single line, I can form a you know parallel lines. Okay,、um, so that that becomes equidistance channel. So what's the purpose of equidistance channel? It is for prediction. So for example, I have already the first line here. Okay, and if price is to move down, I can use this equidistance channel to predict how low price can go. Okay, so it's it's useful to you know for prediction purpose, and we always assume that equidistance channel、uh, for price movement it will stay within the channel until it's either broken upwards or it's either broken downwards. So that's the few use and few assumption of equidistance channel. All right. So the problem is always then how do we draw? We always draw on confirmed turning points. That means that points that has been confirmed. Right, so for example,、uh, if I switch that into a line chart, you realize that this is the confirmed turning point. So this is like confirmed turning point. This is confirmed turning point. This is already confirmed. All right, that's confirmed. That has already happened. It's historical. So this is confirmed, confirmed, and that's confirmed. And whether this is a confirmed turning point, I'm actually not too sure. It might be. It might. Be. Not be because then price might just go up and then it might just go flat and then move back down. Okay, so therefore we always use the historical prices. That means what has happened in the past to predict what might happen in the future. Okay, so the safer way to draw your equidistance channel, for example, by looking at this full picture here, is to assume these as a confirmed turning point, point number one and point number two, right? And then to probably、um, use all this confirmed turning point here to predict whether this point here, which is likely to be let's say point four,、um, is actually near to a support. Okay, so we're gonna start drawing. Uh, right now with that equidistance channel. So what I like to do is I like to turn to a line chart to see the turning points, and I will just flip it into a candlestick chart to look at you know 
where I want to draw. I always draw the top to the top, the, the tip to the tip. Okay, so I have this here as a top to the top, and then I will shift my equidistance channel downwards. That means that instead of you know, because I once I draw that equidistance channel, I have this like lower line that pop up, right? So I will shift this lower lower line and to fit it to the lowest turning point that I can find. Not this one, because if I do this one here, I would cut through um, this whole cluster here. Right, since the the, the the new low has been formed, all right, I will just shift it all the way to the bottom. And here I have, right? It seems that price is at the bottom of this channel here. So there seems to be a bit of a support here given by the channel and as well as a historical low here. Okay, so I've completed that channel drawing. And once I've done that, I'll just want to take a look into the nearer price point. All right, so what are the nearer price points that I can start drawing that channel? Okay, same thing, I want to rely on confirm turning point, right? So just switch that into a candlestick chart. And you realize that this is a confirm turning point. So this point here, okay, and this point here, and this point here, and this point. Now, whether this is a confirm turning point, I'm not too sure. Okay, because price can just go up, boom, come back down, and it might not be. Okay, um, and if you if you want, you can consider these as a confirmed turning point as well. Okay, and and this one as well. All right, so I'll be finding all these confirmed turning points to help me to draw. Okay, so um, the visible right channel that um, you know uh, that I can see is actually an upsloping channel. Okay, because you know remember one of the purpose of uh, what I said right is the channel helps to predict a possible price point so I can see that that's this confirmed turning point right so I'll be drawing this all right and hopefully to use this point here to predict that how high that HSI can go okay so one of the uh, key thing of using channel is as a prediction all right so let me just draw that using a uh, candlestick chart okay tip to tip Okay, so I'm just going to draw at the bottom, this confirm, confirm turning point, and then shift it up to the high. Um, and perhaps that HSI might have a chance to actually for maybe medium term or long term to hit right at the top of the channel here. It will not be that immediate, it's probably going to be like maybe a few months um, going forward. Okay, so here I have right, which is the recent po uh, the nearer point, and I, I'm I'm just gonna try to see whether there's any other points I can find in terms of confirmed turning points. Okay, so same thing. Um, this is the confirmed turning point. Let me just mark this confirmed turning point, and then that's one confirmed turning point, and then there's something that's a confirmed turning point here. All right, so and this is actually confirmed. All right, so therefore let me just try to. Uh, you know, draw that, okay, draw the equidistance channel based on this confirmed turning point. Alright, so I'm just going to start drawing from the bottom because the trend is actually going up. So, same thing at the bottom here. Alright, we shift it, um, you know, low to low, fix it, right? And then, um, if, you, if you want, you can just, you know, because this is actually a confirmed turning point. So, this one is a confirmed turning point, right? So, we have sort of, you know, keep prices in this slightly narrow channel here, where this is the top of the channel, and then this one is actually the bottom of the channel. We've used that confirmed turning point to draw. Okay. Now, if I shift this slightly higher, okay, slightly higher, uh, this looks a little bit weird. Okay. Why? Because then you realize that one of the key things about China is that. Um, we have two low points and then the high point is actually in the middle of the two low points right so this high point here is actually away from that um, you know middle of this uh, two low points okay so I won't be considering this channel here um, perhaps that this is the nearest channel I can consider all right and otherwise I would just be you know just just keep it simple and stupid I'm just be looking this as potentially a trend line. That means that to see these as a trend line because this trend line is being drawn using a uh, confirmed turning point as well. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to draw, and 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 you know I would just really keep it simple to say that hey look, um, there was an uptrend. So see that. So this was uh, like a high and then a low, a lower high here, and then a lower low. Alright, so this point here, we're going to have a high that's still um, lower than the previous high, but this one, the current high here, is actually a higher high. 
okay the high is higher than the previous high and then this previous high here and this is a higher low okay and therefore based on this price structure here we might be having a higher low so short term we are probably expecting hsi to be in a bit of an uptrend and the next easiest way to look at it is to see this as like a um, support okay so there was a bit of a support here a resistance that turned into the support all right if you just flip it into the day chart okay, sorry into the week chart okay something that's interesting and something which i think you need to consider as that the place that hsi is stopping here happens to be a previous low a previous very important low okay see that there are two important lows here one was this uh 2015 low okay the other low uh, would be here okay that's the 2020 low okay and remember um this low here was created because of covid all right so this is a very very important price point so after covid hsi moved up and then it starts to decline and then it, it, it forms a support here and today okay today we are seeing that you know based on the the price behavior here and the small little short lines that i really really love them and i and i construct them um you know using our method which is tall right you realize that there's a cluster of resistance here there's a it changed the cluster of support here right and today hsi is still being supported and being supported by this horizontal line that's given by the COVID low okay it says a lot about hsi in terms of its strength so once you move that into the current price realize that coupled with you know the wash and means then the analysis of hsi become very different okay um based on this we might be expecting a bit of a strength coming from hsi so the analysis has to be simple it, it you know you don't need to go through very very difficult analysis all right the key thing is that the key level should pop to you it should be very very easily uh you know appearing in your eyes and once you see it you must be able to make a very clean precise concise um, analysis and by doing that right it's it's going to be very easy so once you find that you have very easy levels very easy analysis the trade is going to likely going to turn out to be well okay so uh, do take note and then uh, if you if you like uh, to to know more about how to draw the channels all right or how to know more about washer means you can actually attend the free washer means module